Alright, hey there guys, this is for a second here. I'm going to show you how to make your own YouTube template today. As you can see, this is one that I made previously. Haven't showed you how to make it. Already saved this so that you guys can use it. It's right here on my desktop. I will upload it as soon as I upload this video. But I'm going to show you how to make your own template today. Alright, just starting off with the one I have what you're gonna do is make a new layer alright some everywhere on YouTube there's probably different ways to do this I'm just showing the way I do it I'm just gonna use this color I already have put those on any templates so that we can see these alright we're gonna try and use it on template nope doesn't let me do that and when I made this one, it allowed me to, may or may not let you guys do it. Depends on how you guys go about it. It's going to make that as exact as I can. Alright, make sure you click on layer 1 too. Alright, control C is to copy, control V to hit paste. Now if I hide this and hide that, right where the bar is right there, that's where that is. Alright, now we're just gonna hide that layer, open up that one. Same thing applies for the, this one. Just corner to corner. Control copy, control V. Now just to stay organized, top Yep, I fail at typing whatever. Video. And we don't need the name layer one because we're just, in the end, we're just going to get rid of it. Unless you want to use it for your background, then you're free to do that. Alright, now let's just get our favorites and uploads. Control, copy, control, V. Favorites, and that's what we're gonna name it. All right, I'll just show you the outcome of this in a second. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one, and just make sure you have layer one ready. Get up in this corner. I'm just doing line exact because I may actually use this in my YouTube background because it's getting kind of old. Oh, just for you guys, I will use it for my background just to see how many people actually go through and look at my background. Right now, we have this whole top part done. So, you're probably going to want to see that. We're just going to. Make sure that they're visible. Hide that. And hide that. There is our basic setup. If you see it's uneven and you're just a neat freak, let me get rid of that. Copy delete. with the layer that you're going to delete. And then we just pull this back up. Hide all of these. Click on that just to make sure. Just, just make sure you have that clicked. Just like to name these so I stay a little organized. Alright, now we just have two left. Keep the conversation going, but a couple of other things that I will be showing is how to make it do this effect, which I don't think is working out too well. It was my first time making this before, so I just kind of made a cheap background, did a better one for my friend XI Andrew. Great guy, go check out his channel. He posts, Do I want to turn on filter keys? No, I do not. Don't know how that popped up, but it just did. 
as I was saying, check out his channel. He does post glitches. Then so does my friend PS Freak33. He posts glitches on Black Ops Killzone. A lot of the games that you can glitch on. Name it. He's got it. Go check out his channel too. They're great. And still naming this, trying to remember what I'm doing. I will just call it recent activities. No, I'll just call it recent because I'm lazy. And we still want to have that one selected. And now we just got this big box and we're done with our template. Yeah, we're done with our template. Now it's time to play around with it. I want to upload this. I want you guys to actually go through and do this on your own. Call me a douchebag. It's hard love. I'm sorry. Alright, we're going to call this YouTube. Oh, it's pressing. I spelled it all right. Now the bitch part is putting everything in this file. Yes, I cursed. Tell your parents about it. Eat me. Before I get too far. Oh, speaking of comment, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe on this video. Because I do like to see what you guys understand, what you guys don't understand, just to further my profession in this. I'd like to know what you guys are getting, what you guys are not getting. Uh, since we don't need that, we don't, I'll just delete it. But I want to know what you guys are getting, what you guys aren't. So if there's a way I can help you guys, I would gladly do that. Alright, I'm getting tired of the same old effect on Bevel and in Boss. I'm going to go with Smooth in that size. Right. See right here, kind of see what it's doing. Alright, I'm going to put this as 12. Just so everything pops up nice. I might soften that up a little bit. Three and pattern overlay that it just changed that. If that's something you like, you can do that. Gradient overlay it creates that kind of light to dark effect. Some of you might like that. Stroke it just puts it pretty much just does that to it. Color overlay it's this color you change it to what you want I don't know if it'll work right I never use it because I do stuff when I start alright see I want to add texture but I don't like that rough surface I'm going to fix it down with light marble if you do not have it click on this and go to rock patterns you will have it and I think that looks pretty beast right there so I am going to go on to the next one. Description. You guys are just going to have to follow along because I like to go a little fast with this. I have very little patience with taking forever on stuff. Sorry, it's just human nature. By the way, check out that song. It's pretty beast. What was it? 12 that I had this at? Soften three. I want to make all these pretty much look the same. This is probably going to be a 10 minute video. I better check that out. Yep. I will shorten this up. Probably fast forward it. Texture. And we're going to have to do this fast. I might not be able to do the whole video. I'm going to just try and go fast, time-wise. Drop shadow, inner shadow, inner 
glue, bevel and boss, texture, texture, what we got? Spray marble. We're gonna go back to bevel and emboss. Too well. I'll keep it at 13 just because time is a factor. Practice makes perfect. Fuck. There we go. And that does that for that one. And I could be cheap and try and just copy and paste it from one to the other. Maybe someday I'll try that. I'll try it later on. Tell you how it goes. Tear on your chest. Just fuck around with all these settings. As you can see, I'm just trying to go fast. And as I have like 10 to 15 minutes. There we go. Looking nice. I will put a new video up so that you guys may see some stuff with this. I will start off from this one, make my own. Here we go, getting down the home stretch, got one more to go, and I will save this, and, you know what, this is kind of actually looking kind of nice, I might upload it to YouTube, you guys comment on this, if I get enough comments, I will put it up, but I'm not going to let the same guy comment over and over again, so I'm hoping this gets a lot of views, not expecting too many, I'm thinking about two or three. I'm not even thinking up in the hundreds. If I do get more than that, I will be satisfied greatly. And check out my next video. I will start with this template. Just gonna save it so that you guys see it. Alright, I don't know. For you, we're gonna call this XI Forsaken. Just because that's the one I'm gonna start off with in the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.